tells the world to prepare for a post Qaddafi era. Coalition bombs continue to blitz the Libyan capital. Petrol queues snake through Tripoli with fuel in short supply. A scenario made worse with tankers a regular target for airstrikes. Artis Maria Finoshin reports on the civilians caught up in a brutal conflict. It may have some of the largest oil reserves on the planet, but these days Libya has also got some of the longest queues at its petrol stations. The international sanctions imposed on the embattled colonel's regime do not include a fuel embargo. But NATO is targeting tanker lorries if suspected the fuel might be used by Gaddafi's military forces. With roads closed, factories at a stop and foreign workers long since gone from the war-stricken country, Libya is facing its worst energy crisis ever. The new reality is ordinary Libyan drivers now spend vast amounts of time queuing for fuel. Two months ago, this became a common scene here in Libya. In the oil-rich country, people have been lining up to fill up their cars for hours, even days. But this line is a little different compared to most. The gas station at the end of this queue is for women only. Embarka is a university student and has volunteered here to help organize the process. She stamps fuel ration books, which allow individuals 35 liters a week. She believes it's a great idea to have women-only stations. Women have too many things to do. They don't fight each other while queuing and never shoot into the air as men often do. So we are able to serve up to 900 cars per day. This line is long, but others are even longer. Petrol is still cheaper than water here, just a few cents for a litre. It's just that it's often in short supply. If there is no fuel, we have to leave our cars and return when it reappears. That could be days. Women-only gas stations is one of many innovations supposed to ease people's lives in a country in cares. There are also special pumps for ambulances and police cars. NATO surrounded us, but we should move on. We try to do our best to help people get by. If we give up, we'll die. Those seeking to oust Colonel Gaddafi may have been hoping the hardships will incite people to rise up against their leader. But instead, it only seems to be fueling people's hatred towards what they feel is Western imperialism. Ah, NATO. NATO damaged our city, destroyed our life. They told us they want to save people. Is that the way to save the people? Tell me. This is just a crime. While the war inside try to find a way out of months of devastating conflict, ordinary people are looking for a way to just live their everyday lives, dreaming about times when this nightmare would be with a distant memory. Marie Fnoshna, RT, Tripoli.